my die line right here. So I, you can see I've looped it over. I'm going to take it and I'm going to insert it in here and then pull this other part through. I'm gonna set the phone down a second. And then you've got this guy and voila, you're attached. You can adjust these accordingly. You can either move that little triangle up, move it down to give more or less uh, line. Okay, so with no instructions <laughs> and the first time ever pitching this thing, it took me 50 minutes, 5-0. <laughs> so I definitely need to practice. There's plenty more room for additional guy lines. Oh, I wanted to also show you guys the vent. You can do this on both sides. This is to allow for airflow and to help with condensation. Let's take a look in here. There is the bathtub. You can see how far up off the ground it is. You can see it is pretty small in here. It is a two person tent and you could fit two people in there, but I'm thinking it would be really cramped. Of course, you know, sleeping pads would fit together perfectly. My sleeping bag makes it look a lot, like there's a lot less room than there is. So this is the first time I've taken it out of the packaging and used it. I don't know how normal this is. It looks like, where's the other one? It looks like snags in the material. You can see it pretty clearly. From there, I don't, I don't know what that's about. There's another one right there. Where is it? I'm zoomed in so much it's hard to see. There it is. I don't know if it's just something in the manufacturing or what, but supposed to be snags in something that's brand new. Right. A little tie there that holds this back. So now because I live in Florida, I'm letting all the little bugs in that were not in here a minute ago. <laughs> oh, here's another one of those snaggy looking areas. Hmm. For a tent that's like between five and six hundred dollars, I would hope that there would not be those things. See, I can actually feel it. There's another one. I can feel it on the other side. Anyway, this is for your gear. And these little whole, little round circular things are for the guy lines. Is this instructions? No. You got a thing for tent care. So there's internal guy lines. There's another big pocket over there. The other two guy lines I did not put up last night. So there's a lot of storage in here. You've got this, you have this. This would be perfect for chargers, glasses. Another one over there. You've got another one up here. You could hang laundry from in here. I'm assuming this is also for, I don't know. I would think this would be what you would hang laundry or other things from it's a double vestibule tent so you've got airflow either direction got another big pocket down there another storage pocket right there now i have the fly on so i'm not feeling a whole lot of ventilation oh, it looks like my water is almost ready for my tea bag So, if I push my sleeping bag over here, there is definitely room enough for another human to lay there. Like if you were just <clears throat> going to have two pads next to each other, you can see that there's definitely room for two pads to fit in here. I am feeling no airflow at all in here. I've got the little vent thing open, but granted it's not windy. Okay, 
Okay, my water's ready. So the bathtub comes up decently high. Um, I don't, this is real thin material. I did not get a patch kit with it. I do have a tent patch kit, but I'm going to look and see if Slingfin has one of their own and see if, you know, it's anything specific to this tent, but I, just me, I don't think I'd use this tent without a ground sheet. It's really thin. And being that I hoped to take dogs with me in this, the dogs could definitely fit in here they curl up pretty small, but I would be concerned about their nails. Normally when I'm in a regular tent, like camping in the backyard or camping in a campground, I put a layer of something on the inside of the tent to keep their nails from scratching it. So it's extra weight, but I, you know, I try to keep their nails nice and short anyway, but you know how dogs are, they want to rake and scrape and make a nest. So that's a must. I'm going to definitely have to carry something with me to line the tent with on the inside so that nobody in the middle of the night tries to rake and rip up the tent. All right, so I made it work. I just tied the little bit that was left over from my guy line and just tied it there. And now I've got a lovely breeze. It's time to make my tea. internal guy lines. Basically these function just the same way as outer guy lines do. They offer support. Um, down here looks like they've tied them with a bowline knot. And you've got these little guys that you can use to adjust the tautness. They run through these little hooks up here. I have two extras. Let me turn around in this little bag. There's a nice breeze going on right now. I've got this side open. This side over here, the little vent is propped open and I have it up off the ground. Truthfully, unless there's a pretty strong wind, I'm not feeling too much cross ventilation, to be honest. So I think that if there was a good breeze, I would probably keep this fly open like this. Okay, so let's check these little guys. You can hear Freya in the background. She's very excited that I'm out here and not very happy that she's not. Hang on a second, let's see. Got my little rubber bands that everything came with. So there's two extra guy lines. So I do not have a tripod in here with me. So I'm gonna try to set this up and show you guys how to tie a bowline knot. Okay, so I have installed one of them and I'm gonna to attempt to show you guys how to put the other one in. I have a bug on me, hold on. This paperwork is gonna get in the way. I'm gonna to have to cut this off. There we go, ooh, pocket, all right. So, where's our other guy line? So you can see they've already threaded this through here. I'm gonna undo it, thread it through here, and show you guys how to thread it on your own, just in case it didn't come pre-threaded, and to tie a bowline knot on the end, and show you how to adjust the top. Okay, so you can see where they come up. Here's the knot. This is the open part, which is the bottom, where this is threaded up through. So I'm just going to pull this out. See, he just goes right in like that. And then I'm gonna take him, thread him up through here. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. And then I'm gonna take him, whoop, I dropped him. So then I've taken him and just threaded him right back through there. So I'm gonna pull it through, take it down here. Okay, so there we are with the internal guy lines 
secured. So here is a nice shot of everything all the way around. It's guyed out. I have the two and in, uh, four internal guy lines. Sorry about my nails. So there we go.